So a couple of days ago, we talked about the first key for reading conversationally, and that was to colour or highlight or lift, whichever word you want to use, uh, colour important new information when you are reading conversationally. And here is key two. If you're going to colour new information, you need to uncolour old information. Yeah, unimportant or old information. That is detail which is already known or presumed to be known can be thrown away in your delivery. It doesn't need to be highlighted. It can stay on your level tone or even subdued. Yeah. The crash was between two cars. Yeah. That was the example we had from a couple of days ago. Crash is new information. Two cars is new information. How many vehicles were there? There were two of them. How many uh, well, what what were the vehicles? Well, there were cars, right? The crash was between two cars. Let's continue that sentence. The blue car hit the red car. So, we know that we're going to naturally slightly highlight crash and two cars in the first sentence, but would you colour the word car in the second? Let's read that again. The crash was between two cars. The blue car hit the red car. No, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? it? It is wrong. That's because we already know the accident involved cars, and we're saying cars rather than trucks, coaches, taxis, motorbikes. It's old information in that second sentence. The new detail in the second sentence is the colour of the cars. So that's what we highlight, yeah? Let's say that again for you. The crash was between two cars. We're lifting crash and two and cars because it's new information. We're not highlighting was between. A crash is going to be between different things, isn't it? Yeah. So we don't need to highlight was between. We're highlighting crash and two cars. We're highlighting the new information. The new information in the second sentence is that the blue car hit the red car. We're not lifting the or hit or the because that's just grammatical glue, the grouting that's holding the important words together. We're not hi highlighting car in the second sentence because that's old information. We already know that the crash was between two cars. Yeah, The difference is that we're highlighting the new information in the second sentence, which is blue and red. So let's say all that again. The crash was between two cars. The blue car hit the red car. Yeah, It's the colour of the cars that we highlight in the second sentence. Mary had a little lamb. The lamb's name was Larry. We lifted Mary and Lamb and Larry because they are names or new information. But we subdue the second reference to the Lamb because that's old information. Yeah, Mary had a little Lamb. The Lamb's name was Larry. Yeah? Of course, you might say that's not how we would write a sentence with a repeated word. And you're right, we probably naturally speak by replacing the second use of car or Lamb with a pronoun. Ah, a pronoun. So that's a replacement word for the word that we previously used. Yeah, so we'd normally say the blue one hit the red one or its name was Larry. Yeah, But that doesn't change the rule. Whether it's known information through a repeated word or a substitute for that word, you still don't highlight its subsequent appearances. Let's look at those two sentences again or those two stories again. And this time, we're actually going to use pronouns instead. We're going to change them very slightly. The crash was between two cars. The blue one hit the red one. And Mary had a little lamb. It was called Larry. So actually, you'll see that even though we replace the repetitive words with pronouns, 
We didn't even need to do that. Much of the content of the second sentences is so throwaway, so insignificant, we could have just, as we may have done in conversation, just not said most of it. We could have just said, yeah, the crash was between two cars, the blue hit the red. Yeah, we don't even need to talk about the blue car hit the red car. We don't even need to say the blue one hit the red one. We just say, yeah, the blue hit the red. Mary had a little lamb. It was called Larry. We might just say, Mary had a little lamb. Larry. Yeah? Naturally, that's what we do. We cut out all the extra information. So, if we're going to throw it away in conversational speech, we certainly don't need to highlight it when it's being written down. So, to summarise, old information, such as a repeated noun, is not lifted, even if it's replaced with the pronoun. And many times... The pronouns are so unnecessary anyway, we can remove them from the sentence as well. Get rid of them. Back tomorrow with more from Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice. From London, I'm Peter Stewart.